annually, 37 million tonnes of residual biomass are wasted in northwest Europe, which corresponds to a potential of about 2% of total CO2 emissions in northwest Europe. The use and conversion of these waste biomasses into biochar is thus becoming an important strategy in the fight against climate change. In biochar, carbon can be stored for the long term. It can replace fossil coal and be processed into other products. This makes biochar the basic material of a circular carbon economy, which not only has a positive climate effect, but can also lead to sustainable economic and social development. However, the circular carbon economy is more than just a purely technical solution. It requires a well thought out, preferably local management concept in which four central elements and process steps are optimized and coordinated with each other. Biowaste is organic waste from private households, cities and municipalities, from gardening, forestry and agriculture, and residual biomass from nature conservation areas. This biowaste includes, among other things, green cuttings and hedge trimmings, roadside greenery, food scraps and residual wood. Biomass management here includes collection, transport, storage and pretreatment of the biomass. Biomass is converted into biochar in pyrolysis furnaces in the absence of oxygen. This prevents the carbon from going into the air as CO2 and instead being stored in the coal. Pyrolysis produces thermal energy, pyrolysis gas and coal, which are used in the various plant systems in different quantities and qualities. The technological range begins with simple contiki kilns through small rural plants that fit well into local heating networks and ends with high-tech carbonisation plants on an industrial scale, for example as components in urban waste treatment and sewage plants. Plant design and management are determined by the regional framework conditions. The availability of biomass input, the intended heat or coal production and the targeted biochar quality. Biochar is the ideal feedstock for bioeconomy products and services. It has outstanding properties for water and nutrient binding and can be used in various industries. It is active in the filtration and purification of water and wastewater and can be used as a valuable soil substrate for gardening, agriculture and forestry. They are used as bedding in stables and for the reduction of odour nuisance in various industries, from medical technology to sanitation, and as an aggregate in the construction industry, clay plaster, concrete and asphalt. A sustainable carbon circular economy should be strategically planned. It makes sense to base this planning on necessary development scenarios, for example, climate neutral urban planning, sustainable water management, water storing and heat resistant cities. Promoting biodiversity, extensification of land and for sustainable agriculture. The circular carbon economy must link all four areas in a sustainable way and implement them locally based on the available biomasses, optimal plant design and biochar qualities product and value chains for the regional bioeconomy are being developed. It offers opportunities not only for climate protection and economic value creation, but also for socially and participatively oriented regional development in Europe. Mm -hmm.